Hello everyone and welcome back. In last video, we have created this new ROS controller for our MoveIt package so that it can find the uh, missing joint trajectory controllers that we written in lesson 7. You can watch that lesson 7 from here. And again, after creating this new uh, ROS, ROS controller, we have updated the uh, controller manager XML file so that it can load the new controller. You can see here. So now after this step, our package is uh, ready to get simulated, but we need to create a new launch file to load everything because that default launch files are not correct and they can be used anymore. So first of all, you need to open a terminal. So I will launch a new terminal and I will go to my workspace, CD, home directory, my workspace name, movit underscore workspace, the SRC folder which contains my package and my move it package name. And then if you go, I will expand this and it, you need to go into the launch folder of that. Okay, so once you are in this launch folder, press enter. You will be, your directory will set to that launch folder. Now here we need to create a new launch file. So if you come here, you will find I have given the command here. You can name your launch file anything, but I will name it as the full robot underscore arm underscore sim launch. I will directly get this command. I will copy it because if gedator don't find the file which you uh, passed in the command, it will automatically create it and open. Control shift V and press enter. So the file is open. We need to go to the PDF document again and you need to copy this code. I have copied it, but you need to take care because when you go in, paste this into this G editor, the color coding will lost. You need to replace this URDF launch file with your URDF launch file, which we created in lesson eight. You can watch the lesson eight here. And this with your move it package name, this purple names. So I will show you how to do that. Copy this, control C go to that file and paste it here. So first we will tell the gedator that this is an XML file because launch file is not known by this gedator. The launch file is basically a XML file only. So type here, you need to come here and XML I will type and select this XML. Now it will get some a nice color coding. Now we need to indent it properly. So again, you can see like this controllers file is on bottom line. You can take it on another like the top line and start giving tabs. Again, in launch file tabs are allowed in XML file. So the first line here is to include that launch file which we created for our uh, URDF package. So first we will go into our Catkin workspace. We will go into SRC and this package we created in uh, sorry this package we created a launch file in lesson 8. You can find it here. So you need to take the name of this. I will take its name and copy it. And you need to go into the editor and replace this your URDF launch file with the your URDF file name. Whatever if you have given a different name, yours will be different. So I added this URDF file name. The next, so the next thing is like the commands are there to include either the move group dot launch or the RV's configuration. So we just need to replace that our uh, again here. This is uh, arrived on the bottom line. So we need to take here and give one space like this. And give tab. This arg is the uh, tag of this include tag. So I will uh, keep it inside that tag only. Here the uh, in this include tag is ended here. So maintain this kind of indentation so you can read the file properly. Okay, so first here this include file includes that move group dot launch. So we just need to give here the move it package name. If you come here in SRC folder, you will find this. I will take its name and copy it. And I will go here and replace only this with the new my move it package name. Okay, again here give your move it package name and here give your move it package name. This move group dot launch file is already available. Like you don't need to re uh, rename it because it is uh, created by your 
move it uh, setup assistant by default this one move group dot launch and again this uh, move it rv's launch and rv's configuration file is al also available here so you don't need to worry about them you just need to replace your move it package name okay so once you do that your launch file is ready in next video we will launch this launch file and check the simulation is working or not thank you please watch my next videos thanks for watching